Hey guys, John here, and welcome back inside the Vintage Geeks Toy Room. Today, I'm not going to do like another little intro thing of showing off something, because I want to just show this real quick. I got the uh, Star Wars 40th Anniversary Empire Strikes Back Han Solo in Carbonite, and it looks awesome, guys. This is really cool. I'm very, very happy with it. Now, there looks like there's a stand in there. There's something wrapped up in plastic. So there very well might be a stand in there. Unfortunately for you guys, I guess, I'm not going to open this. This is the only one that I was able to get. And it's the only one I have. I never got the one with Han Solo that was the the exclusive thing or whatever. The back is pretty standard. So I want to keep this on that card. So that's why I'm showing it off right now here. Instead of doing an in-depth video on it. Because, uh, yeah, sorry guys. I just really want to keep it on this card. I, I don't want to open this up. So I'm going to have to check out somebody else's video and see if there is indeed a stand in there. Because there's a lot of stuff wadded up underneath this. And, uh... Maybe there is. All right, on to the main video. So we got something here from Spin Master. Check this out. A couple of things here. Look at this. As you can see, I've already opened it. I, I really did a quick look to see what was in there. And we have Batman and Clayface with the Bat Cycle, Bat Moto, Batman versus Clayface. So there is some kind of Bat Cycle in there, which is pretty neat. The Caped Crusader. Exclusive Batman. So we'll get that open and take a look at it. And then the other thing, well, give me a second here. All right, and the other thing is this Batmobile. Two vehicles in one. You get this little bat jet thing and a Batmobile. And they apparently clip in together there. From Spin Master. Creature Chaos, I guess it's called. Batmobile, two in one vehicle. Launch the vehicle. Fits four inch figures. Eject. So you can basically put Batman in there and it pops out and he can fly around. Yeah. Spin Master, DC, Warner Brothers, all that stuff, Spin Master. All right, let's take a look at these things. I just noticed we didn't look at the cool Clayface versus Batman artwork on the back of the box of the of the motorcycle. That's pretty cool, right? Yeah. So here we go. Here's all the component pieces of our Batman set. We've got a flying bat wing thing. Could be used as a boat also. You could use it as a Batmobile. We've got Clayface here. Roar! Look at him. He looks cool. A bat cycle, which looks really good. And Batman with some claw pieces. Roar! All right, let's check this stuff out here so we can take the Batman, get the lighting better on him. And let me see here. Claw pieces. And then we'll put this one on this arm. Pretty neat. That lets him fight Clayface better. No, I'm gonna get you. 
Can you guys hear that? It is thundering like mad outside today. It's going right through the studio walls. Ah, no, he's got me. <laughs> Look at Clayface's face. Look, his head moves, so that's cool. He does have good articulation for being uh, such a bulky 3.75 inch figure. I guess they consider these four inch figures, um, Spin Master does. But his legs don't move, his body twists though. So he's got one, two, and then two in each shoulder. So one, two, three, four, five, six points of articulation on this guy. Rrr. <laughs> cool. And Batman has a head to swivel. Does it go up and down at all? Not really, no. Arms move, go all the way around. There's an elbow joint and a twist at the elbow, but no wrist or anything. No waist for Batman, but you've got the legs forward, backwards a little bit, and they can go out. And he's got a twist, knee bend and twist at the knee, but no other twisting or moving action there. So that's it. The bike, wheels that roll. I thought maybe these would bend, but they don't. They're flexible. It's got grips there to hang on to. No. Wow, that is quite a storm. I'm gonna have to go outside and look at that in a minute. Yeah, no uh, other discernible weaponry on there. Is that a scuff mark? What is that? I think mine got scratched. In the Batmobile itself. Look at these exhaust pipes. Pretty cool. It's got a hatch on the top. When the back's not in, it can be kind of floppy. No missiles or anything. It's got some guns here. But no, no shooting missiles or anything like that. It's just basically a piece of plastic. The canopy goes up. And we have a flying version of the bat wing. And these can fold up. And it fits right inside there. Becomes the engine part. And this closes. And now it fits really well with that in there. Cool. Pretty neat. So here we go. Here's Batman riding the bat cycle. We gotta put his cape up. Batman. 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 Batman, Batman, Batman. Looks pretty good, actually. I mean, he's pretty cool. I like how his costume matches the color of the bike. It really does. This this special edition Batman really matches the bike well. Really cool. And the bike has that same symbol on it that's sort of like the car does. 
but yeah, that's pretty cool. Pretty neat, really. Rolls all right. Doesn't fall over. Stands up on its own, you know? But yeah, I mean, overall, this is a cool Batman suit. I mean, that's a neat cowl and helmet. The armor is pretty cool. The chest plate with the silver bat symbol on it. He's got his utility belt. Famous spikes on the gauntlets. It's a good Batman figure. It's pretty cool. I'm Batman. Let's get him in the car. Batman, Batman, Batman. Yeah, he fits really good in the car. His hands go right on the controls. Really nice. Both controls you can fit his hands on. He actually sits down correctly. You know, some toy vehicles, the figures just don't fit right. But he looks good. He looks the right height. I mean, he's sitting down perfectly. I mean, the chair is wide enough for him. The grips are perfectly placed. And then it closes right up. Clips right in. And he's fully inside the thing without any hindrances or problems. Batman is ready to go into action. The Batmobile rolls really nicely. really good thing and if you want to take him out and fly around you just pop it out and look the wings fold down and he's flying around really cool you don't have to do anything he just comes right out the back and when you want him to fly in just fold the wings up and he can fly right into the back of this thing lock in place cover down and you're good to go he's back in the batmobile that's really cool this this batmobile is designed very well i really like it it's a neat Neat, lots of play value here. Lots of things to play with. Really good toy. Great for play value and having fun. This would have been something I really would have had a lot of fun with as a kid with my toys and everything. I mean, it would have been, it would have went all over like G.I. Joe. You know, everyone would have been using this. That's cool. It's really good. It's a really nice looking Batmobile. Yeah. Cool. And uh, so I hear this is nineteen ninety nine, if I got it right. And then the uh, Bat Cycle set was fourteen ninety nine, something like that. So fifteen bucks and twenty bucks, or maybe this is twenty five. I didn't get the. Uh, I don't know what happened to the note. Sorry, twenty or twenty five dollars. I think this is fifteen dollars for the Clayface and Bat Cycle. So um not too expensive at all. Not that not that bad. Um yeah. Pretty cool. Okay, so I looked it up real quick. Sorry. This is 19.99 on Amazon right now. 19.99. And that doesn't show as a markdown. So I think that's about what it is. The Bat Cycle with Clayface and Batman is normally 17.99, but it is right now marked down to $12. On Amazon so that is a markdown at 12 bucks so um, yeah not too bad actually you know this is worth $12 and this is worth 20 bucks definitely all right there we go guys the Batmobile the bat cycle the Batmobile the bat wing that flies into the Batmobile with Batman and Clayface facing off against each other spin master toys hope you guys liked this one 
Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, all right? Thanks a lot, guys. We'll see you later.